Washington on edge with just five days to avoid triggering automatic tax increases for many of us and budget cuts in the new year. House Speaker John Boehner is being called out for his absence on the Hill. Welcome back. Another day closer to the fiscal cliff and from all appearances, no compromise in sight. But both sides are back in Washington. ABC's Taman Bradley brings us up to speed on the gridlock in Washington. It may already be too late. Five days before the fiscal cliff and with the House of Representatives out of town until Sunday, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid admitted a deal seems unlikely. I have to say, be very honest, Mr. President. I don't know time-wise how it can happen now. In a scathing attack, Reid called House Speaker John Boehner a dictator and blamed him for letting members stay home with no deal in sight. We are here in Washington working while the members of the House of Representatives are out uh, watching movies and watching their kids play soccer and basketball. John Boehner seems to care more about keeping his speakership than about keeping the nation on firm financial footing. The Republican leader in the Senate responded saying it's Democrats who failed to lead. Make no mistake, the only reason Democrats have been trying to deflect attention onto me and my colleagues over the past few weeks is that they don't have a plan of their own. President Obama returned to Washington today for a last minute push. Before leaving vacation in Hawaii, he had separate phone conversations with congressional leaders, but it's not clear those talks helped. Hopefully there's still time for an agreement of some kind. Washington's failure to avoid the cliff threatens to undermine the fragile U.S. economic recovery as Americans face big tax hikes on New Year's Day. Adding to the mess, the Treasury Department is warning that the government will soon be unable to pay its bills. House Republican leaders say they'll take action on whatever bill the Senate can pass, but the Senate must act first. Tamon Bradley, ABC News, Washington.